Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Hermitcraft FTB Infinity. <laughs> Aw, yeah. And so last time we was working on these guys here, uh, I do have uh, the mushrooms in this one. Uh, it's turned off right now because, uh, if you remember, they were dropping experience. And so I need to get a way, uh, or I need to add a way to collect the experience, and I need to, like, add a way or add somewhere for it to go. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's the thing, um, and I I did the the white uh, white conveyors in this one. Uh, I got a comment saying that the the conveyors were like like they stood out too much or something, um, which I mean they do they do like it's never really bothered me. <laughs> uh, but I went ahead and did white in here just to see you know like how it looks. And so I plan on changing this one out with white because, I mean, honestly, it does look better. Like, everything is white. I mean, you know, except for the lines, but whatever. We can deal with that. Uh, the problem with the spawner, uh, it's not the dimension. It's not, it, like, it's not anything I did. It's not that it's chunk loaded. It's not that the chunks aren't loaded enough. Uh, the problem is with the Draconic Evolution mod itself. Um... Currently, in this version that we are on, we are using the 1.2.1 version of the pack, uh, which I believe is like snapshot three of Draconic Evolution. Uh, there's a problem with hostile spawners that are chunk loaded. Um, so that's what that is. Uh, it's not anything I did wrong. <laughs> I thought, you know, I was just like, like I was, I was at a loss. And so I did some research and found a. a the change log for Draconic Evolution, and sure enough, uh, it's listed. It's like snapshot five or something like that. Uh, like I say, we're on snapshot three. Uh, in snapshot five, it's fixed. <laughs> so uh, the hostile spawners over here. Uh, I, I've decided this side will be hostile. This side will be passive. Hopefully, I, like because I, I need a sheep, a sheep soul, and then like maybe a chicken to get feathers and. I don't know something something <laughs> I'm not sure what uh, but yeah so so it's gonna be hostile and passive and that's or you know like hostile and neutral hostile passive that kind of thing <laughs> yeah uh, if we come over here we use our little jumpy pad very nice uh, we will see I did a little something here I've got a little something going on we've got we had 200 and 250 some million cobblestone and now you see we're at 246 million it's still generating cobblestone but some of it's coming over to here uh, i did this during a live stream and yes it requires all of this <laughs> power going into it uh, well it <laughs> these things are weird they uh, they apparently only accept so much power uh per side and uh, I had I had uh, the other guy. Oh God, get me in here! I had these resonant flux ducts. Um, you know what? Somebody also mentioned. Let me. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully that's better. That doesn't seem like it got any bigger, does it? <laughs> like why didn't? Is it because I didn't click done? Oh yeah, I didn't click OK. OK, back. Holy freaking massive whale. <laughs> wow. That is huge. 50? Is there is there default? Default. Okay. How big is that? Holy wow. <laughs> that is way too big. Sorry, like but that is way too big. 0. 0.5. How you, how you do? How you do? Eh, you're better, but I want you I want you see through. That's what I want. I believe that's this, right? I put that down to zero. Back, back. Aha! All right. So hopefully that helps. Uh, but yeah, I had the. It's a little bit bigger, I think. Yeah, it was on point three, and I was on point five. So, uh, but yeah, I had these resonant flux ducts uh, going all the way around this guy to give it power. 
Uh, and as you can see, it's set up to make the, the octuple uh, compressed cobblestone. And what's nice about these guys is they do, uh, these tier threes, they can do up to eight recipes and they will use like the previous steps uh, to make the next steps. Uh, so like it's everything in one block. Um, but when I had the resonant flux ducts going around here, uh, it took resonant flux ducts on every single side. <laughs> and so I, I, I stole a couple of the, the cryo stabilized from over here. Cause really over here, we only need one. Um, well, we don't even need one, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, so I stole a couple of those, put them over here. And then with uh, the addition of the one flux duct, it gets power. So it's, it's really weird. It's it's really weird. <laughs> like they only accept, you know, a certain amount of power per side, but you got to have like massive freaking power going, you know, to them for them. Like it's, I don't, and, and I, I really don't understand it, but it's working and it's doing things and I have it set to speed mode, redstone ignored, and it's currently working its way up to octuple. And so the way you use this guy is you just put the recipe in here. Uh, well, you have to select one of these. Um, when you first open this up, it'll be just question marks coming over here. And so you just select it. You put your recipe in here. You click apply and that will apply it to that spot. And then this one, uh, if you if you have this on keep, it will keep one item like each step. It has to make 10 of the item to make the next one uh, because it keeps one just to save that inventory slot so that more of it can go in. Yeah. And then for the next one, you just the same thing. So on and so forth. Uh, the inventory or int, uh, will actually keep the items in this inventory. Uh, if you have it set to the other one, uh, it will actually put them in here. And then this is where you export, you know, to a chest or whatever. Uh, the only one I have set to, uh, external it's, it's actually external. Uh, that's, uh, is octuple, which will put it here. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. That's what I do. <laughs> I do that. Um, but like, I wanted to, like, I want to, I want to be able to like monitor uh, everything I'm doing, like the power and and like all of that kind of kind of stuff. Like, I want to, I want to monitor that guy, kind of like see how much power is in it and all that stuff. Uh, it's not going to be like super super fancy monitoring, I guess. Like, I just want to, you know, is it, is it still, you know, doing okay? Is the power okay? <laughs> Are we doing okay? Uh, so what I think I'm going to do is in RF tools, uh, there's screens, there's energy modules, and there's screen controllers. Uh, so the screen, you just slap it somewhere. Uh, it doesn't do anything by itself. Uh, it does require energy modules or, you know, like modules, like you've got different modules, you get tax modules, inventory, energy, uh, energy plus, uh, dimension module, clock module, fluid module, and fluid plus. And so each one will display like a different thing. And so I have uh, an energy module and I'm actually going to slap it on that guy. And then if we come over here, Let's slap that in there. And then we need to have this guy, the screen controller. It has to be within a certain number of blocks. I'm not sure which, you know, like what number uh, it is, but I think I'm just going to slap it right there and then we can click scan and it found one screen, which is the screen up there. So if we go, what the, are all of these? Oh, they found, they're like little. <laughs> How did I never notice that before? Why is that dented? Like, you see it? It's got like a... It is really weird. I never noticed that before. <laughs> like, I, I live here and I don't notice. Uh, but yeah, now you can see. It's it's showing the current power that is in that. Uh, so we can actually come in here and then it's got like different... Uh, like things, compact format. Let's see if we can get rid of Wayla. Or not Wayla, NEI. <laughs> uh, compact format, 3.1 mil. I don't know what that. Oh, aha. That's what that means. All right. And then commas. Ooh. All right. 
And then we can show show the average RF per tick, gain and loss, zero RF per tick. Okay. <laughs> it's using zero RF. It's at 99% power. Uh, what is color of the label, color for the RF text. Oh, you can add text. Oh, nice. Okay, so we'll call this crafter. Done. We're done. Crafters at 99%. <laughs> nice. And then I could just put it down there. Ah, oh, see, I thought it was. See, I thought if you if you put something like in a different slot, it would put it on a different slot here. But I guess not. Um, but I want to make. Uh, I should have see energy. I thought I made some energy modules, but I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. Uh, oh no. That, uh -huh. Oh, there we go. All right, so energy modules. Uh, these guys, you need iron, redstone. Wait, I, no, see, I could have swore I made some. <laughs> I really could have swore I made some. Um, where? I know I made some. I know I made some. I just, I have no clue where they are. Like, none whatsoever. <laughs> that is zero modules. Uh, when you break this, uh, you actually keep the modules that are in it. You see it says one module. So, yeah, just, you know. Uh, but every time you break it, you have to go back down to the controller and rescan and all of that. Uh, let's make some of these. Energy, energy, energy. Uh, energy plus. I, I'm not really sure like the difference between the plus and the, the regular, but... Alright, so if we come down here, can I even use it on... Ooh. Oh no. Oh no, I can't use it on this guy. No! <laughs> I can use it on that, but not this. No. That sucks. That sucks. I really wanted to use it on that. But it's not going to let me. Are you serious? Like, I can't... You know, work with the big reactor? You suck. <laughs> you suck. Alright, is it going to work on the Draconic Energy Core? Oh, that sucks. Uh, will it work on... no? No? <laughs> it won't work on anything! Oh! Oh! Energy pile. Oh! Energy pylon. Alright, so what does that do for us? Uh, let's toss that in there. Go down here. Let's res... Oop! Rescan. There we go. Alright, let's go up here. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. Aha! Whoa! Is that showing the RF? Uh, compact. 2.1 gig, gig RF? <laughs> uh, what is it? Wait, what? Um, 2, 2 billion, right? 2 billion, 147 million, 483,647 RF in that. That don't seem right at all. <laughs> that don't seem right at all. Uh, this guy's got 59 billion, but according to this, that pylon right there has 2.1 billion. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so at all. That don't that don't sound right. That don't sound right at all. Hmm. I think that's that's a little borked. <laughs> All right, let's set that, and then we can see the, the in-out of that guy. Uh, so we'll go average gain loss, zero. <sighs> I th Yeah, I think this is, this is kind of a little bit buggy, 100%. Uh, no text is shown. Why would you do that? Yeah, well, I mean, it, it, it doesn't have as much information as I would like, and it doesn't work on the big reactor, which would have been nice. But, like, there's computers, and I mean, whatever. I just, I really don't feel like getting into computers, so I was really hoping that would work. But, yeah. All right, guys, uh, let, me, let me, I'm going to change out the, the conveyor belts. I should have a few more in there. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, so I'm going to go change out the conveyor belts and stuff, and I'll be back. Alrighty, <laughs> so we're back. Uh, so I made a little bit of a change uh, to the cobble, compressed cobble doohickey guy. Um, 
Yep. <laughs> I think it actually looks pretty cool. Like, it actually looks cool. Uh, so these guys here, uh, it's got two recipes for uh, compressed cobble. It's actually making both recipes at the same time. Uh, that's the same for both of them. And so they're both set to make cobblestone. They're getting pulled out by these guys, or they're, made, they're set to make compressed cobblestone. And then they spit it into this guy. This guy is pretty much done. Like, he, he never has to make compressed cobblestone again. Um, and this guy back here, uh, he's, like, pretty much full <laughs> of speed upgrades just to keep up uh, with these two guys on the side. And then, yeah, everything's going quicker. Like, you can see, like, that's going, that's flying. That one's flying pretty good. That one's going pretty good. This one's going a little bit slower. And then this one's, like, almost a dead stop. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's the way it goes. Uh, when I was here before... Uh, we only had one septuple, or septuple, septuple? I don't know how to say that. Septuple, septuple, whatever. Uh, we only had one. Now we have three. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's definitely putting a dent uh, in my cobblestone. As you can see, I only have 240 million. And look how quick it's going down. <laughs> uh, but it works. And it's not really using that much power. Uh, you can tell how much power it's using by the amount of the blue balls that are going. Uh, see, I say things, and then it hits me what I said, and, yep. <laughs> uh, the, 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 the blue orbs. Yes, <laughs> the blue orbs. Uh, if it was sucking a lot of power, uh, there would be, like, a lot of the blue orbs. <laughs> orbs? <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah, we should have... Uh, an octuple compressed cobblestone within like the next five years, so it's good, right? <laughs> no, it's it's actually it's actually going pretty fast. Um, I could make it go a little bit faster. I could upgrade these guys and make them uh, the the tier two, and then just like because I think the tier two does like four or five recipes, and then I could do all five recipes as compressed cobblestone, or I could just have like eight of these machines and have each step, you know, each. <laughs> Yeah, just fill this with compressed cobblestone, and then each step down the line is just full of the next step down the line. That would be... Hmm. <laughs> I'm actually thinking about doing that now. But yeah, you can see it's getting ready to make another septuple. So it's not going to... Like, it's it's going pretty good. I'm, I'm pleased with how good it's going. Uh, without having to get into, like, Steve's Factory Manager and all that stuff. Uh, this is pretty easy to set up. Uh, you just gotta wire the power really weird for some reason, but whatever. Uh, so what we're gonna do for the cows, uh, we need to collect their their XP. Uh, so we're just, for now, until we can get that octuple compressed cobblestone and get a bedrockium drum, uh, we're actually just going to uh, use these drums and whatever. Uh, so we're just going to slap some of this stuff here, on there, and we shouldn't need this, but I'm going to put it on here anyway, and then we can go in here. Oh, no redstone con oh, <laughs> no redstone control. Uh, so we're going to tell this guy uh, he's going to ignore redstone, and then uh, this guy will be spawners. Uh, item mode, blocked. Fluid mode will be receive. Uh, energy mode, blocked. Uh, spawners aren't going to have any energy. Um, although I'm, I was thinking about, uh, someone said, use a killer Joe uh, for the for the witch soul. Use a killer Joe and some witch spawners. So I might actually look at doing that. Uh, so wait, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm just like running back and forth. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so yeah. Uh, so that should be able to uh, pull the experience. And so we actually have to go to the wither. There we go. And then we got to come down in here. And I think the way I'm going to do this. <laughs> oh, I don't have any blocks. Uh, we'll just use that. All right. So we're going to want to come off that guy. Let's see. I'm thinking I want the vacuum hopper like right there. Right? Yeah, let me go. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks good. Looks good. Those went into the... Okay. <laughs> 
Alrighty. Alright, and then this guy's just gonna sit there and stuff might spawn there. Uh, I don't have any... Oh, dang it. Uh, we need to get... Uh, let's go home real quick. Uh, we need to get a conveyor belt to put on top of that tesseract just in case anything does land on top of it. It will just fall off. Uh, convey... Uh, noises in the background. Already, I get rid of the noise. <laughs> Things just like to make noise. Okay, so I'm just gonna, yeah, just like that. And then uh, this guy, he's gonna be uh, owner only, of course. And then configuration, energy, no. Fluid, yes. Items, no. Um, and then for this guy, dang it. <laughs> I should have brought something to put in him. Uh, gelatinous slime, Rob, you. Let's do that. Alrighty. Uh, we're just gonna stick some gelatinous slime in him so he doesn't pick up any items. Uh, he shouldn't be able to pick up any items, but yeah, we don't we really don't want him to pick up items. Alright, so we're gonna go like that, and the top guy is that guy, and so he should send all experience into this guy. Spawners, fluid send, done. And then we should be able to just click that on. And any experience that they drop will go into the Tesseract and end up at the base, hopefully. Now that... oh yeah, there goes the experience. I seen it! I seen it! It went bleep, and then bleep, and went away. And they're really loud. Yeah, you can see all the... I don't know why they're dropping experience. I don't get it. <laughs> the iron spikes aren't supposed to... like, these guys, they don't drop experience. Like, at all. There's no experience. Uh, these guys do. I don't know if it's because they're passive. And it's not like every single one. It's like every once in a while one drops experience. So it's not, yeah, see, it's not it's not a crazy amount of experience. But if this thing is constantly running, then it's going to do pretty good and get us quite a bit of experience. And then that, like I say, it'll, it'll just go into these drums down here until I can get a bedrockium. And then, uh-oh. Oh, yeah, no redstone control. We need redstone. Uh, lever lever? Lever lever? Lev. Lev. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. All right. And so hopefully this should work. Should work. And we'll just go there. No? Uh, uh, <laughs> um, hmm, <laughs> why you no know work, guy? It is a fluid duct. You're set to pull. Do I need it to say go in here? No. Oh, there's there's actually different servos, aren't there? Um, there's some for in and some for out. And all I have is the extract. Okay, um, let's see. Servo. Servo. Right, there is. Extracts, extracts, extracts. Wait, hold on. Thermodynamics. Thermodynamics. Yeah. No. Wait. <laughs> no, that's just for pulling stuff. Can we can we make that? I want to make that. Let's see. Let's make that hardened retriever. What are we missing? Enderium nuggets for it. Really? Wow. Okay. Retriever. Yeah, that's not gonna make a difference. But whatever. Yeah, I don't know why this isn't doing. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what the problem is. Uh, let me figure this out. Alrighty. And so I did change it a little bit here. I, I have these guys here for, <laughs> I upgraded them to tier two. And they are doing uh, four operations of that. So they go pretty fast, generally. 
Uh, this one's like it's keeping up with the cobblestone because uh, this that one's not turned on. Yeah, <laughs> and then this one has two operations of the double compressed. So, yeah, uh, but you can see there's no uh, uh, there's no like any more septuple right here, and there's no octuple right there. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> uh, no, it's it's over here. <laughs> yeah, it didn't disappear. There's no bug. There's no yeah. It made nine of them. It was waiting for ten. I wasn't waiting for ten. Um, so there we go. Aha, we have octuple. Octuple. Uh, I guess we'll just toss it in there. Blammo, and blammo, and slow. Well. We're not slow now if we... Yeah, yeah, that's pretty slow. What is that, slowness four? Yeah, slowness four. All right, so we got that. And we can turn that into that. And it, that is enough for a drum, right? <laughs> I hope that's enough for a drum. Uh, Yeah, 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 that's plenty. Okay, <laughs> one, two, there we go. And there we go. And there we go. And that can go in there, so the slowness goes away. Thank you very much for your cooperation. All right, so these guys, uh, you can see that one's got 9574, 9574, 9574, and 9358. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we're actually going to, uh, like I said before, take all these guys out and put this guy in. And then all of it go in there. And then these guys, we will uh, we'll pull the stuff out of those. Uh, so let's see, let's grab grab a servo, swervo, swervo. Boom. Oh. Aha. Oh wait, I should grab a retrieval, huh? I made those retrievals. I might as well use them, right? Uh. Oh. I got all turned around. Uh. Servo. I re Aha. Aha. Retrieval. Retriever. Something. Or other. <laughs> Alright. Let's put that on there. And so if we do that, and then we do that, does he... He does! Haha. -ha. Very nice. Alright. Um, I'm just worried that... Like, this will try to fill that, so I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to put these guys, like, way down here. Oh, wait, what? Wait. Did I have, did I have four? Yeah, I had four. <laughs> okay. I was like, wait, do I have, did I have four? I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember. Uh, you, you, enable. And then that should, wait, what? You're empty? Oh, you are. Aha. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, let's grab that. Oh, that's okay. That's empty too. <laughs> uh, are you empty? No. Uh, ignored. Ah, now you're empty. Yeah. That's instant. Instant, <laughs> it tells you. All right, so let's put it there. Ignored. Ah, it does a thousand at a time. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, is that doing? Oh, dang it. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just did that. Nope. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Whatever, whatever, whatever. So that's got 38,000. That one's got zero. And that one's got zero. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's take all of this back. And I don't think we need that on there. That Everything else will just go in there. 65 million. Yep. That's, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for today. Uh, oh, hey. <laughs> uh, we started the Bedrockium journey and uh, at the beginning, and we've completed it. 
Uh, I'm just going to leave this guy going. I've got him all set to slow. Uh, I'm just going to leave it going. Why not? That's what this cobble was for. Uh, is like making bedrockium. Uh, and these guys are still, you know, still doing their thing. They're still putting cobble into it. So, yeah. We'll just, we'll just leave it go. Like, I don't, I don't ever foresee it filling this up. <laughs> so, like, ever. That's a lot of cobblestone. That's like billions of cobblestone. So, yeah. All right. I uh, hopefully you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you all next time.